Hey guys, Just for Life X here. We're back with our final part of how to make the game for the RBS4 game console on Roblox. So now, on this video, I'll be showing you how to test your game and how to get it working properly if there's any errors inside of it. So now, you have your disc, your controller, your TV. So now, Inside of the disk, the disk DUI, rename the game name to Click, which is the name of the game, Click. And your game and your own game image, we don't have a game image. I'm going to get one of my images. I'm going to just get this star admin thing. Just click, just click on the game image. And click on the decal for it. Click on it. So now it's, it's in here. So now all you have to do is go inside the texture. Just copy the ID. And paste it into the image for the game image. And there you go. Now you can just put the decal somewhere else. Or just delete it. So now you have your game image for it. So now go back to the tool disk, disk tool. You see where it says tool tip. The tool tip is where when you put your mouse over your backpack, your inventory, it shows what it is. It gives it a tip of what it is. So you just name it click. And your texture ID, your texture ID is, is the CD image which is at the top is your CD image that's how I make mine so you can just copy the top decal copy the texture and put it right in the texture ID I will be showing you guys how to make your own your own game the top how to make your own game disk image is what I'm trying to say. I'll show you guys how to make your own top your top disk for it. So now so now you just press play and we can start testing the game. Oh yes you have to make sure your HTTP service is enabled by the way. Oh, you see, we already have a problem right here. Workspace, our disks. That's this is why you need to have your output open so you see anything that's wrong. So just stop it. Go to where it says it is. Workspace that disk. That game data that disk. That game GY. That functions. That game event. That event script. Line three. Oh, there was oh, I'm sorry. You have to disable disable the event script because this is actually not a error. It's just saying that because it's inside of the disk right now. But when you put it inside of the console, it will automatically go to the functions folder and so forth. So now you just press play again. And as you can see, it's not really an error. So now get your disk. You see when you highlight your mouse over it, it says click right there. And get your controller and turn and turn the console on. So now your game has turned on. So now just type in your ID, which is two three. Nine 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 seven five five, and press change. Now you're connected. Open the tray and put your disk in there. And there's your little game image of when you put the game image in, which is my star admin, which is on the left and press E and to start your game up and now you see we already have a problem 
So now if you have a problem with your disk, all you have to do is just take it out and wait until you're able to click on it. Just take it out. Now go to your backpack and get the disk, find where the error is. So now it was it was cloned to the functions folder, which is in workspace, the RVS4 console, and the functions. This is where it was. So now it says there was an error. It says TV is not a valid member of folder. So we didn't make we didn't make enough weights. Not enough weights. We didn't make enough parents. So it was script dot parent, which is the game event. Dot parent, which is the functions folder. Dot parent which was the RBS4 and that's pretty much all you have to do just put it back in and let's test it again and now you see we don't have an error this time so now you just press E to start the game press Q to quit game just press E and it started the game up there you go so now there's the wait five, gives it time, four, three, two, one, that's the countdown you made, and press E to click, oh, see now there's another error, and this is the good thing about testing your games out first, instead of just making it and just uploading it and giving it away, you don't know if it works or not, you just have to test it first. So now back where the game event was, event script. It says line 35. So here it is, line 35. You see the allow, the allow, the bull value is not in the game. It's inside the menu. So turn that on and change this as well to where you turned it off. GY.menu.allow, that value equals false. Check for any other errors you might have, just in case. And there you go. So now I put it back in. Start it back up. So now you're back to the menu. So now you just press E to start game. Like you originally was. There you go. Now there's the countdown. Four, three, two, one and begin. Now you just start clicking and that's that add the add point sound we added. You hear it? And there you go. You click 45 times. It says good job at the top giving the player a good job and now we're back to the menu. So now you can start it up again. Press E again. Set it to what it was originally was before and now you just play again. Three, two, one, zero, begin. The ad sound is pretty annoying, so you can take it out if you know how. And there you go, your game works, your click game works. And now you just press Q to quit game. And now it goes back to the main menu of the console. And there you go, you're back to the menu. Your disk is still in there, showed by the game image that we put in there. And that's it, now you have your own game. And you can publish it, you can send it to me, I'll make sure it's okay. So, thank you guys for watching this tutorial series of how to make your own game for the console. This is the beginner series. I will be having an intermediate series set that's more advanced. If you want to make a more advanced game than this than this was. This was just a click game. So thank you guys for watching. Like, comment if you have any problems. And peace.